What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. We don't do a lot of YouTube anymore. You know, it's been a it's been a while since we really have done YouTube like like way back when we did it, you know. Which is all good, just so much more time with the family and you know, we got two kids now and you know, time with my wife and stuff and it's just kind of it's kind of refreshing to not be in the grind of trying to entertain people every day. And I hope you guys can understand that. It's not that I don't enjoy it, but you know, it is a little bit of a different task to do when, you know, you got life's just different now than it was years ago. So we're on our way though to pick up potentially, hopefully, a the next giveaway truck. And we took a little bit of break um, from doing the giveaway stuff here for a couple of weeks, mostly due to, again, wanting to have a break, to spend some time with family and the kids and, you know, Thanksgiving and hanging out with just family and friends. And, you know, every once in a while, it's just good to take a breather. Just like, just like a you moment, a you time. That's like, you know what? It's for me and my family. I'm going to hang out. I'm not going to be promoting any giveaway for a couple weeks. I'm not going to be filming and doing anything. Like, I just want to like, I just want to relax and recharge and go figure I ended up getting sick most of the entire time. So I was mostly in bed miserable, but I did get to have some great family time and it was it was all good overall. So um, we're on our way now to rent a trailer and I have not towed like a single thing with this fifth gen since I got it. I got 5,500 miles on it and I have not towed one thing with this truck, which I kind of bought the truck, you know, not really for the reason or purpose of like, oh, I'm gonna tow with this thing all the time, you know? I know there's guys that like to buy trucks just to drive the truck, they just like to drive it. And then you got guys that are like, how dare you buy a truck if you're not working it every day? It's such a waste, you know? And we'll teach their own, you know? Do what you wanna do with your money. For me personally, I just wanted to have a nice, enjoyable to drive, you know, newer pickup truck that was just kind of like, hey, if I do have to make some longer trips, whether it be for hunting or to take a small trailer or maybe in this case today, an empty trailer to go pick up a truck, in theory, that's the goal. Um, something is just much more comfortable, you know, it's just something that's way more enjoyable to make the trip. And so I got my heat on my back, I got my heat on my wheel, and I'm on my way to go pick up a car hauler. And we're gonna be making a four plus hour trip each way to hopefully go pick up what's supposed to be a really sweet um, first gen Dodge and uh, that's kind of it's kind of where I'm at with it in the journey and we're on our way to go pick up this rental trailer you know I sold my sold my 20 footer a while ago and uh, well I traded it for a piece of equipment that I ended up selling and then putting money towards a small tractor but um, I never really use the trailer much and go figure, you know, I sell the trailer and now I wish I had the trailer, but for the most part, I've been able to land deals on stuff that's less than a couple hours away, you know, which has been hard to do overall, but I've been able to do it, which, you know, then I don't have to load up a trailer. I just have somebody drive me out, usually the wife or, you know, we just go and make a road trip out of it, go grab a truck and get back and we're home within a half day, you know? but not in this case today. This, this truck that I found, um, I've been talking to the guy back and forth about it for days now. I called him, I talked to him about it over the phone. You know, it's one of those things where you just never know till you get there. And he seems like a straight shooter and you know, he's had the truck for 15 years and he's like, dude, he's like, it's not easy for me to sell this thing. He's like, I don't really want to sell it, but you know, kind of need the money type of deal. Um, he knows the truck's worth something, you know? And so he's like, I just, you know, obviously it's not anything what he paid for it back when they were given first shins away, but it's with the market the way that it is, um, I probably can't complain about it too much. And, you know, he's not gonna complain about it for sure, you know, but that's just where we're at with it. So we're gonna get on over here, pick up this trailer, and hopefully we have some smooth sailing on the way there and on the way back. He said that they got a lot of lake effect snow over the last couple days, so hopefully that doesn't cause too many issues on the road. He said that the snow stopped last night, so hopefully they've got most of the roads kind of cleared up and um, in overall good shape, because I was gonna go a couple days ago, and I didn't because, 
you know, he said that the conditions up there were pretty bad, so he said it'd probably be better to wait, and so I did. I've just, you know, waited a couple days until the weather cleared out, and hopefully the roads are mostly cleared up. So let's get this trailer and get on the road, and hopefully there's a nice truck at the end of this trip. We are on our way. I actually didn't update you as soon as I thought I would. I've been on the road for about three hours, but it's actually Lake Erie right there. Or you can see that way over there. There you go. That's Lake Erie. And we are on Route 90, headed straight east. Hour and 20 minutes to go. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that this truck is the truck that it's been hyped up to be. And if so, we should be in pretty good shape. Well, we are in the truck. We have picked up the first gen, boys. It is nice. It's very nice. Very, very, very well described truck. And this has not happened a lot. We go and look at a lot of trucks that lead to nothing. And this is not one of those cases. This is one of those cases where the truck was listed, fair price, fair everything fair description and then when I you know actually ask questions about it over the phone and get there when somebody describes something I expect them to be telling the truth but you know how many times and when you're looking at old trucks that is not the case well just used vehicles in general I'm not going to spe specify just old trucks but it just seems to be a reputation with the old diesels especially being misdescribed maybe that's just because that's what I deal with the most but this thing was properly described and it's you know not necessarily more than i thought it was but it's definitely exactly what i thought it was in terms of what i was told so we're gonna get this thing on back it'll probably be dark by the time i get back home so i'm probably not gonna be able to do any kind of filming with it tonight it'll be dark but tomorrow morning you better believe it we're going over this thing so here we are back at the house next day we got the thing unloaded this morning i washed it down had to take the trailer back to the rental place I actually washed the whole truck and then I swapped the grill and the old, well, I say old, the new grill. I had been sitting in the bed covered in dust. Didn't even realize that's totally dusty and the rest of the truck's clean, but. So here it is. It's a 1992 W250. It has been converted to an NV4500 five-speed manual. And it's a four-wheel drive truck. Um, super clean truck the previous owner's name was doug so i think we're just going to name the truck doug here's the nv4500 five speed to four wheel drive super clean truck though headliners pinned up with these pins it actually didn't look bad but it's the original headliner trying to hang in there it did have a cb in it everything is ready to hook a cb back up if you want one um Super clean truck, second gen seats were thrown in it, modified to work in the truck. Super clean interior, super clean carpet, super clean dash and all that. Um, very nice truck. Paint was done, I think previous owner said that he had it done about 10 years ago now. And he said since then the truck's never seen rain, snow, salt, nothing. Um, like if it's not blue skies and sunny, it didn't get driven. Uh, and he had a couple other second gens there, and one of them was probably the nicest second gen I've ever laid eyes on. I mean, I couldn't believe how clean the truck was. Um, just unbelievably nice, nice, nice second gen. But uh, so this is the truck that's coming up next. Um, had a little bit of a had a little bit of a spell there where we took a little bit of a break for the first time in a long, long time. And I thought, what better giveaway to do next after a little break? than a first gen. You guys seem to always love these trucks, especially the five speed four wheel drive trucks. And you know, this thing was just too nice to pass. Couldn't really, couldn't really turn it down. It was a really nice truck. Very, very tastefully pinstriped and painted. I really like it actually. the hood it's got the visor with the cab lights of course 
Um, this did actually have a Dodge, original Dodge grill on it. I just took it off and put this one on before I started filming this video here because this one had like a, the, the original one had like a huge chunk of the grill like missing right there. Like it had, something had flown up off a road or something and busted off the corner of the plastic. So it was a little bit of an eyesore, but other than that, I mean, this thing is super nice. I mean, you're talking 1992. It's an old truck, man, but it, I mean, it's a nice truck. Show you the interior on this side. Again, super clean. It's got a South Bend clutch in it, so it's, it's, it shifts right. I mean, it's good, it's firm, it grabs and goes. Super clean door panels and upholstery on it. Power windows, power locks. Um, tons of service records in here that come with the truck. The guy that owned this truck, he had it for almost, I think he said about 15 years. So he's got, you know, a lot of the history with this thing um, was in his possession. Or at least most of the truck's life was in his possession. His brother owned it for a long time. So I don't know for sure if this was in the same family since it was new. His brother bought it off of whoever it originally came from and then um, he said he bought it off his brother because he liked the truck so much. And so then it's been in his hands for you know, like the last 10, 15 years or so. So it's been in good hands and good maintained hands for a long time. And tomorrow we do have some new tires going on this thing. These ones aren't bad, um, but they're old enough in terms of tire life that I don't really, I don't really trust them. I wouldn't trust them. Um, but he said it was always kept in a climate controlled shop and you know, they are just sitting outside dry rotting, but regardless, I'm going to have the tires swapped out tomorrow. I think you guys are going to like what we put on it. Cause I want to keep this kind of like, I don't know. This just, this is the Doug look dude. The guy's name I bought this off of was Doug. And so I thought, man, this truck, it just seems like a Doug type of truck. You know what I'm saying? Like the pinstriping, the red, the visor, it had a CB radio on it with CB antennas on the back. It's ready, it's it's ready to go for somebody to, you know, set it back up just like that. You can see the antenna mounts there and everything, and it's all wired and it it's all good to go. He just wanted to keep it because it was his grandfather's apparently that he used to run in his semi, and so he wanted to keep the the original CB that he got from him and take it on and put it in his other truck so but any anyways um this truck is very classy in terms of like how i kind of picture somebody who would buy one of these and drive one of these would kind of put it together like you got the the very very classic looking wheel set up on it with the white wall tires like the white wall lettering um on the tires sticking out um, everything about the truck just kind of seems like, I don't know why, like when I found out the guy's name was Doug and he had a pin striped on the door, I was like, it seems like a Doug type of truck, dude. <laughs> like just the way that it's set up and I'm not dogging it. I think it's, I think it's classy, but I definitely like the truck and I think it's going to make a great one for somebody. And the giveaway for this truck does go live on December 7th and it will only run until January 14th. So just a little bit over 30 days and, uh, Guess I should probably start it up for you guys. You know, you don't come all the way over here to this side of YouTube and not want to hear it start. Doug, man, that's what we're gonna call this truck. Doug. It seems like a Doug truck. Can 
you say Doug? Can you can you say Doug? Yeah, Doug. Doug? Yeah. yeah. Well, there she is. It runs smooth. Runs great, actually. You gotta run a you gotta love a good running 12 out, man. I mean, it's just so hard not to like them. clean truck super happy with how this thing was described in comparison to what it was when i actually got there you just never know and this one was actually one of those trucks where it was described and it was actually what it was when i got there you ready to go inside bud you want to play in rocks yeah but here's the truck and uh we were able to hunt down another one. I'm telling you what, these things are just, they're just hard to find. I drove a little over four hours, I think four hours and 15 minutes each way to get this thing. And I'm not gonna lie, towing in that fifth gen, even though it was a 2500 single rear wheel with that Ram air suspension in the rear to keep that thing sit level and ride soft, that was the most luxurious, silky soft towing experience I have ever had, towing anything with any vehicle. And I could not be happier with how that thing pulled. I mean, I had the crew set at 70, just set, and this thing was just like sailing. I think I averaged 13.5 on my way back for a little over four hours, um, going about 70 towing this thing behind that fifth gen. Um, and it, it pulled it like nothing, in the world was bothering it. I mean, it's just smooth sailing, just silky soft suspension in the rear on that thing. And with that Ram Air, I mean, everybody has their own preference, I guess, but I didn't notice that rear end get real bouncy or anything like that. It seemed like it maintained a nice, like a, like it was super soft in terms of the ride feel, but it maintained very well it wasn't like real loose and all over the plates bouncing around you know in that rear end which you know with a 2500 hole and you know it's not the heaviest thing in the world but um sometimes it can just feel a little bit a little bit too soft in the rear but it pulled and it handled very very nice but that's going to be it for this video we're going to catch you guys back here in a day or so maybe more than a day or so but we got some uh, new tires going on this set of wheels that are on this thing. And uh, just, just to get some nice fresh rubber on there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's going to stay clean and classy the way that it is. Not overdone. Um, and uh, it's going to make a gonna make a heck of a truck for somebody and for everybody wondering about the winner for that truck sitting way back to the fourth gen, that will be coming here very soon. So we're running a little bit behind, wife and I, and kids got pretty, pretty badly ill for a little over a week and so we're still running a little bit behind on that but we will have a winner for that truck very momentarily hopefully before this goes live on december 7th we will have a winner announced on the page facebook and instagram uh, so just stay tuned for that and best of luck if you enter to win it anything you want to say marsh anything no he's just playing in the rocks so anyways guys i'll catch you in the next one